It must have been cool. No, like, it's always good to know someone when you move out of town or go to another team, and yet alone it's your brother. So that had to have been pretty mm -hmm. uh, settling for you. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was great. He was like. Uh, he was like my uh, on ice bodyguard the first year because he had twenty eight fights in the OHL, yeah. which was, uh, which I think led the league that year. So he was. He was very active and very. Uh, uh, you know, entertaining for for the Sudbury fans and Sudbury people, and and uh, and uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, those are the good old days for uh, for hockey too, as we're kind of going to get into. Like, you, you jumped on to the the team pretty quickly. It seems you got a spot, and again, getting to play with your other older brother and a ton of other talented players like Jordan or Jared Stahl and Marcus Foligno. So it was probably right into the thick of things right away. Eh? Yeah, yeah, we had uh, we had a really good team uh, with some great players. With the Felino Mike being the head coach, and yeah, then Marcus uh, was on the team rookie uh, as I was, and um, you know Nick the the year before they were uh, conference champions, um, and they had a really good team with like Mark Stahl, uh, Nick Nick Felino, um, a couple other names, but we we started the year in Sudbury with, you know, Felino and the younger Jared Stahl, in which we had a, a really good core group of guys. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, another family, a hockey family too, right? So kind of clashing together a bit. Yeah, yeah. The Stahls are for sure one of the yeah. minority of, uh, of hockey families. Mm -hmm, no doubt. So um, like I said, that was kind of the, the good old days for hockey. That was towards the end of that, uh, the, like the golden era of, of the OHL, at least if you ask me, you know, and um, obviously it kind of ties down to here. Uh, I'm sure like you got to come home from game for games to play Windsor. Did you ever get to play a game in the barn or? Yeah, my first year we got to play in the barn, which was uh, really cool because growing up, we used to go there every Thursday night to watch the Spitz play and uh, to play at the barn was, was something to remember. Oh, hundred percent. Like, so even though you're you're not playing for your hometown team, it it's that uh that memory of being able to come home and play in the prestigious arena. That again, like I figured, you went to games too, and you know I heard all the stories about and and it was the last year too. I think oh uh, seven oh eight around there is when when you started. So that would have been one of the last seasons for the barn too. So just barely got in there. Eh? Yeah, barely got in there, but we got we had one. I think it was one game because we we're in the yeah. other conference. Yeah. So we had the one the one game at the at the barn, which was which was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean it's hard to go through and find like a history of all your games, right? So I figured like hopefully he you know made it to one of the games because again, like you said, they don't play too often. So um, it was probably kind of a privilege when you look back at it. Eh? Yeah, it really was. Um, just a lot of thankfulness and gratefulness when I look back at my OHL career, and especially when I get to play in a hometown. Uh, the mm -hmm. couple times I, I, you know, I was able to, and uh, especially at the barn there was, was a lot of fun because you know we used to get, um, we used to get into it on the Thursdays there, and a lot of people in the crowd used to get into it, and it used to be a, a great atmosphere yeah. to be a part of. Yeah, 